Good day, fellow YouTubers and viewers from across the nation and the world in total and everywhere in between. Welcome back to the recap. Good day, YouTubers. Hope everybody's doing well today. Welcome back to uh, the cleanup slash recap portion of the video. And this is where all the magic happens, in case you weren't aware, so y'all, we stay tuned to the recap portion of the video. And in this portion, we've got this uh, $20 bill, see? $20 bill. This is your funny Canadian money. And it's not made of paper. It's kind of like a plastic, and this is just your standard pen here. So if you want it to, like, you can't really tear that, but I'm going to attempt to drive that pen through there like so. So right through her cheek and between the buildings. So take note of where that's at because I'm going to pull it out and uh, as you can see there's no holes to be seen in her cheek or between the buildings. So there you have it folks. That's a little bit of magic for you there today. <laughs> you didn't know I was a magician did you? <laughs> um, I've been looking around. I've been having bad luck. Really, I haven't found any good spots. A couple that turned out just to be stuff from the 50s, for the most part. Uh, the other day, I was going through the bushes, and I nearly stepped right on one of them timber doodles. And uh, it was about six feet, in, six, six feet ahead of me. <laughs> and the thing didn't move. It just sat there and stared at me with them beady little eyes, like... Uh, What's up, dude? Are you one of us? <laughs> Anyways, I got footage of that. That'll be in, the, in an upcoming video. <laughs> Woo! And next on the agenda, folks, is this right here. <laughs> we got to get the priority straight. This is what I'm working on. It's a Captain Morgan's Black Spiced Rum. First time I've tried it. It's 47.3% alcohol. And it does taste awful tasty. But you got to be careful because that can twist you up in a hurry. And I got a drink going right there. In my, uh, check it out. My gnome Santa Claus glass. Which reminds me of a joke that I'll tell you right here in a second. Yep, that's pretty good. Good day, folks. Hope everybody's doing well today, and welcome to another recap slash cleanup. <laughs> this is the third uh, full dig at this site, the old pocket watch site. And yeah, I got my uh, black glove on here, as usual, and no, it's not a tribute to O.J. Simpson. Uh, first off, though, I got a question, which is, who can drink five gallons of gas and not get sick? And the answer is, Jerry can. <laughs> uh, I know, folks. <laughs> please, don't unsub please don't unsubscribe. That's <laughs> a bad one. Okay, so first off is this bottle right here. Captain Morgan's Rum, Orange Vanilla Twist. I seen this the other day, thought I'd try it out. It's 30% uh, alcohol. Can't really taste the vanilla in it. It's got a... You can definitely taste the uh, orange in it, though. It's not bad. Left a bit of an aftertaste. I wasn't really fond of the aftertaste, but... Uh, it's not something I'd want to drink all the time. <laughs> However, I am going to finish it off tonight. <laughs> I think in hindsight, if I was to go back, I'd, well, actually, <laughs> I think uh, I think hindsight's really backwards thinking, so <laughs> we won't go there. But, uh, well, anyways, let's get into the finds. Good day, viewers. Hope everybody's doing well today. Thanks for joining me here for another banger of a bottle taking recap. Now, this one here took place... Oh, Squiggy, what are you doing? 
Oh man, he's always, he's always excited this time of the year, folks. It's right around Halloween. I have a, yeah, you just, okay, Squeaky, you sit down there, keep an eye on the bottles, and uh, I'll do the talking. Okay, man, right around Halloween, he wants to be in the videos. Uh, next, as I say, uh, I'm trying a little bit of this here tonight. I don't know if you guys ever tried that, bamboo rum? Boy, <laughs> that's some good. Oh. COVID-19! COVID-19! Good day, folks. Welcome back to the bottle digging recap portion of the video. And also, happy Halloween! I hope everybody's gonna have a great Halloween. Uh, I got a few finds on this one. Nothing uh, real spectacular, so I thought I'd do a little bit of a uh, magic trick here. And uh, if you figure it out, well... Well, that's okay. You can uh, try it on your friends. But I got a glass here, and you can see it's just a regular glass, and you can see right through it there. And I'm just going to go like that, and there you go. That is a Canadian loony right there. That's my magic glass, and I go like that, and of course, it's gone. All right. Get focused. <laughs> Good day, YouTubers. Welcome to the recap portion of the video. This is uh, another dig down at the old honey hole. Yeah, we got a few interesting finds out of there today. Before we get started, I want to tell you a little story about two cowboys that are lost in the desert. One cowboy sees a tree that's draped in bacon. That's right, bacon. A bacon tree! We're saved! He screams. He runs to the tree and is immediately riddled with bullets. Well, as you see, it wasn't a bacon tree at all. It was a ham bush. <laughs> a ham bush. <laughs> the first matter of business, folks, on this wacky bottle digging channel is... This bottle here, Legendario, Elixir de Cuba, 34% alcohol, and that is mighty tasty. A buddy of mine brought that back for me from Cuba. That's a nice bottle as well, you know, for a modern bottle. It's all embossed up down here, Legendario. Nice bottle. All right, now, on to other business. <laughs> oh, what's that you do? Yeah, up there. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I didn't have a whole lot of luck sifting, so I just went straight into digging and set the sifter aside. First off, I don't know if any of you recognize one of these bottles. It's a more modern one. And uh, now this is uh, an ibuprofen tablets bottle. It's for uh, it's extra strength and it's for muscle and joint pain. <laughs> if anybody anybody seen one of those before? <laughs> I see these around quite often. <laughs> All right. And next we got this Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce, and it's got some, uh, well, some sort of iridescence or whatever they call it. I call it uh, damage to the bottle, but uh, you can kind of see that. And it, does, it is isn't base embossed, but it all looks to be backwards and upside down. And even when I look through the top down to the base this way, it still looks to be reversed or something. It doesn't, uh, I can't make any sense to it. But anyways, there that is. And here this is, and I'm going to have a drink of this. I used to work with a fellow that drank coffee, and every time he took a drink of coffee, he'd go, ah. <laughs> So first on the menu tonight, folks, is this right here, chicken bone liqueur. Now, I don't know about anywhere else uh, around the world, but around these parts, chicken bones are a uh, popular Christmas time candy. And uh, this company here, Moonshine Creek, 
has decided to turn some chicken bones into a chicken bone liqueur. And this is 25% alcohol, 750 milliliters. And I gotta tell you, that's a pretty tasty liqueur. I've just been uh, mixing it with milk like you would Kahlua or a coffee brandy sort of deal. And it tastes mighty fine, I gotta say. All right, so let's uh, get into the finds here from the digs. So there's two guys in a bar, and one guy, every time he orders a drink, he yells to the bartender, Hey, donkey boy, give me another beer, please. Well, the bartender gets him a beer. He finishes it, and he yells to the bartender again, Hey, uh, donkey boy, get me another beer. And he does, so this goes on for some time. Until finally, the second guy in the bar, he calls the bartender over. He says, hey, I notice every time that guy talks to you, he calls you donkey boy. He says, what's up with that? And the bartender looks at him and says, I don't know. He, all, he, all, he always calls me that. <laughs> uh. Hello, YouTubers. Hope everybody's doing well today. Thanks for joining me here for the recap portion of the video. Tonight we're uh, working on some Captain Morgan spiced rum. Yeah, I got some num nums there. And also, I'd like to show you, uh, I don't know, some of you might have noticed before, maybe not. But uh, if you haven't, I'm going to show you that I got 11 fingers. So here we go, right? We'll count them down here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5. Make 11. Make that one out. <laughs> and uh, that looks nice. Try to get a couple pictures that uh, sort of highlight the color. But there that is. Now most uh, diggers probably aren't aware of this, but before the crowbar was invented, most crows drank at home. Boom, <laughs> boom. Yeah, there you go. All right. Good afternoon. This is your captain speaking. If you look to the left, you'll see some colorful bottles. And in a few moments, coming up on the right, you'll see some older bottles. We are currently flying at an altitude of 37,000 feet. And if you'll all just come around and join me in the cockpit, we'll get started momentarily. <laughs> uh. 